Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about things that I wish I knew before coming to college. I think that this video is going to be so helpful to those of you who are either already in college, who are going to be going to college pretty soon. There's just some things that not a lot of people talk about. So if you're interested in knowing the things that I wish I knew before coming to Chico State, please keep watching. So I have my little journal full of my ideas, so if I'm looking down, I'm probably reading from here. The first thing that I wish I knew before coming to college is that it's okay to go to a community college, a junior college, before going straight to a university. You actually save so much money because universities are so expensive, whether it's a CSU, a UC, or an Ivy League. And it's okay to stay home for two years or a few semesters um, to just save money, take a few classes, and then transfer. I personally do not regret coming to Chico State, but if I could, I would go to a community college first so that I don't have a whole bunch of debt like I do right now. For some reason, uh, going to a community college first has gotten a bad rap. It has a negative connotation with it and it shouldn't. It's there to save money and you can easily transfer to a university if you just focus on your schooling, save money. If you're living at home, you can get a job. There's just so much more you can do. I'm not saying that this is the best way to do it, but I'm just saying that you have options. You can either go straight to a university or go to a community college first. It's totally up to you. Personally, if I were to go back in time, I would definitely save my money, live at home, have a few semesters at a community college, and then come to Chico State. Number two. Before coming to a university, I wish I knew how much freedom you have. <laughs> There's so much in a day that you can do, and it's up to you to decide what you do with your time. In high school, we had this structured seven to eight hours of school time where our schedules are literally made for us. Whereas in college, you make your own schedule, you take the time out of your day to study, you take out of the time out of your day to hang out with friends. It's all up to you. Nobody's making the choices for you. Nobody's there telling you what to do. It's all on you. And I wish I knew that because I would have been more accountable on myself to get things done. Like for example, in high school, we have our high school teachers constantly holding our hands, telling us what assignments are due, when to study, how to study, how to do everything. They're leading us along the way to success. Whereas in college, you're just thrown in and you have to figure out what works best for you, and how to manage your own time. When to hang out with your friends, when to study. If you have a job, you have to take time out of your day to go to that job, as well as going to class. There's just so much. So my freshman year, I wasn't very good at time management, and I wasn't very good at keeping myself accountable for my own schoolwork. In college, they just hand you a syllabus, and it's your responsibility to keep up with the schoolwork, keep up with the readings, know when your tests are. I was stuck in that high school habit my first semester and I was not checking the syllabus, I was not checking the class schedule and what we were doing, so a lot of times I missed so many assignments because I just didn't look. And you kind of have to get into that mindset that it is your responsibility to keep up with your schoolwork and you're your boss, basically. <laughs> Something that really helps me is I am a huge notebook planner person. I write out the times that I'm going to do things, the times that I'm going to study, that I'm going to work, that I'm going to class, and it really helps me to organize my daily schedule. If you guys don't know, I am a third year at Chico State, so that means I'm getting more into my major classes, which takes a lot of time out of my day to do the homework as well as I have a part-time job, so I have to manage my time for that. 
and I have to make time for my friends and spending time with Jake because you still want to have a social life. So that's just something to think about when you come to college is that you're going to have so much freedom and that's not just with college, that's with life. When you leave the nest, you have so much freedom and so much things to be responsible for and so it's something to think about to be accountable on yourself. Number three. The third thing that I wish I knew before coming to college is how expensive everything is. It's not just college, life in general, it's expensive to even breathe. Lucky for me, I worked in high school and I was able to save money in order to use that when I went to college. And that is one thing that I recommend you all to do if you're in high school and you're thinking about going to college, work over the summer when you're not doing anything. You can still work and spend time with your friends. Like, I never realized how expensive books were <laughs> until it was my first semester and I was so glad that I saved money because I was able to use that money if I needed any groceries or any new clothes or something, some shampoo, some toothpaste, you know, I had money always there. And that's something that not a lot of people get and that's why I'm recommending if you're in high school you should definitely work over the summer. Number four. One thing I wish I knew before coming to college was how fast time flies by. <laughs> I can't even believe I only have two semesters left at Chico State and I will have my bachelor's degree and I will be gone. You know, there's always that saying where it's like, the older you get, the faster time flies and it is true. <laughs> I feel like just yesterday I just made my dorm room tour video, I was living in Lassen, I can't believe how close I am to graduating and I can't believe how fast it came. And since time flies so fast, I really recommend to take advantage of the opportunities that the university gives you. Chico State, for example, has so many cool free events and they give out so much free stuff and it's up to you to take advantage of it. For a majority of my college career, I have not went to a majority of the events that are held at Chico State and I kind of regret it because they're free, they're fun, and I'm already two semesters left and I feel like I haven't taken enough advantage of the opportunities that they give us. So that is something that I definitely wish I knew before coming to college. Numero cinco. One thing I wish I knew before coming to college is how stressful it can be. In college you're taking five hard courses that take up like 90% of your time and on top of that when you do move out of the dorms or if you don't even dorm if you get an apartment you have to worry about getting money in order to pay for your rent how to get food on the table there's just there's just so many things that college students have to worry about a lot of times universities don't put our mental health first when it comes to being stressed out and having so many things on our plate. So I feel like I wish I knew how to have some type of stress reliever, some type of outlet to bring out my stress. Because for the longest time I was just getting burnt out every semester. I had too much on my plate and I wasn't doing anything fun for me. I wasn't doing anything that helped my mental health. So this year especially, I started doing things that revolved around my creative outlet because I love being a creator. I love creativity. I love art, you know, all of the creative things. So as my stress reliever, I make sure to take time every week to just sit down and relieve my stress from doing creative things such as drawing, doing my makeup, creating YouTube videos, and I've also gotten into journaling. So one thing to kind of prevent burnout and to relieve your stress is to have some type of stress reliever in your life that makes you happy. A lot of times as college students are so focused on making money, getting our degree, doing things for other people when we don't put ourselves first. And so having some type of outlet to relieve your stress really helps to prevent burnout. And I wish I knew that sooner. <laughs>
I would not have been so burnt out last year. So this is my journal and journaling has really helped me to relieve my stress this semester. I've recently gotten into it and I just love it and this is kind of where that vi this video idea came from. Uh, I was just kind of thinking about different things that I should put into my journal that will help my mind kind of refocus and then I thought about things I wish I knew before coming to college and then I have them out in my journal. So yeah, those are the five things that I wish I knew before coming to college. So this is the end of today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this, especially if you are an incoming college student or already a college student. These tips will be really helpful. They help for me. So please let me know in the comments what you think about this video. If any of the tips were super helpful, if you used any of the tips, let me know because I want to know. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, put the bell notification on so you get notified every time I make a video. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!